let's talk about this poem, Bison by Tanya Garter. Well, just from the title, I have a pretty good feeling it's going to be about bison. One word title? Pretty direct. I think I know exactly what this is going to be about. But maybe I should read on. It says right under Tanya Garter that she is a Sioux Indian. Hmm. From the Cheyenne Eagle Butte High School. Well, that's some interesting information. That could relate back to the bison, and I know that Indians and, and bison go hand in hand because the bison definitely supplied a lot for the Indian. The first line, where has he gone? Hmm. I wonder if this question will be answered throughout this this poem. I sure hope so. Let's read on a little bit. I wonder who the he is actually in that first line. Where has he gone? Could the he be the bison? Could it be another Indian maybe? I don't know. Let's read on a little bit. The Great Shaggy Beast. Well, I know shaggy is an adjective because it's describing beast. And great, well, we know what great means. So the Great Shaggy Beast. That's probably referring back to the bison that's, that's named in the title. So where has he gone? Probably talking about the bison. The Great Shaggy Beast. Those are definitely bison. The Wild One. Well, bison are wild, and maybe we're just talking about one bison. Not more than one, just one at this point. The provider. Bison are definitely provider. Like we said earlier, Native Americans and, and, uh, and bison pretty much go hand in hand. Bison provide anything from food to shelter to weapons. Whatever they seem to need, Native Americans definitely got from bison. Let's read on a little bit. I, I'm thinking that uh, the great shaggy beast the wild one, the provider, the next line is the warmth from cold. These are all synonyms for bison. They do all these things. And I see the being repeated quite a bit. I wonder uh, if that's talking about the bison again too. This must all be about the bison. Because when I read the shaggy beast, the wild provider, the wild one, they all refer back to bison. So yeah, I think great shaggy beast, the wild one, the provider are all synonyms for bison. The must just be describing them. The food to drive away hunger. Well, bison are definitely food, and there are plenty of it. So I'd say they are definitely driving away hunger. The robe and moccasins for my feet definitely refers to bison. The leather for my shirt again refers to bison. The skin for my tent, the bones for my tools, the sinnoh for my bowstring, the horn for my spoon and cups. Again, these are all ways bison are used. The stomach for a bag to carry my things in, the rawhide. Hmm. Again, these must be all ways that bison are used, especially by Native Americans. I'm going to read on a little bit, though, see what else I can find. I look for him on the plains, and he is not there. Very interesting that every line before this, besides the very first one, started with the, referring back to the bison. This one starts with I. Maybe the author is talking about themselves. I look for him on the plains and he is not there. Huh. Looking around for him. Obviously can't find him. Wonder where they went. Makes me think back to the first line where he says, Where has he gone? And we know that's referencing the bison. So what have happened to all the bison? And he is not there. Again, I think he is representing the bison. I look for him. I think this is the bison again. In the meadows and the valleys and the water. And he is not there either. I don't know if our question is going to be answered. Where has he gone? I cannot live without him. This shows exactly what bison are used for. They're used to help people live. My question wasn't really answered. I'm not sure where he's gone, but it sounds like he's pretty important and they should definitely find him pretty soon.